All right, and we have the Gateway to the West signature event finals here. And finally, we have if Pink's Shine Unicorns two one four five Z with with Aries on our Blue Alliance. Right, I wanted to congratulate Baker for winning this finally winning the first sig. And the Red Alliance, we have eighty one X and six two ten M, the X Men, right. Very very powerful alliances on both ends, and you can see that Red here won won the uh, they they won that third goal rush, but Blue right Baker has been preaching about th that starting position, and you can see that how good of a starting position they have right here right. They're ready to either play a screen, or they're ready to attack right. And right here they're ready to play, play offense, as you can see this starting position allows them to play that early uh early match aggression. That's exactly what they do here right right away dashes across and grabs that third goal. So it doesn't even matter if they lose third goal in auto. As long as they're able to recover and then play the screen here, they're chilling. And that's what they do, right? They're going to play the screen for their teammate. But I think, I think it was at uh, 6 2 10 m it's definitely going to get them, get that goal back. But th that gives Baker an opportunity to get into this positive corner, right? Really a pretty pretty huge play out of out of the blue alliance here, taking control of both positive corners now. They don't even really need to have this goal filled. All they need to do is just you know control that corner and don't let red in, and you know they're gonna you know capitalize on some of those points within the the corner, and they're gonna just hold it right because you know red knows they need to score points so they can't be here all the, all the whole time. So now blue can kind of just you know wait for red to leave, and whenever they leave, they just need to score one ring, and that ring is worth twice as much as a red one. So pretty 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 powerful play out of out of the blue alliance here. Now all they have to do is just sit now, and and red kind of flops here. By, by leaving that goal, right? You never really want to try to drop the goal. Or I don't know if they're clamped out or they, they, they unclamped there because I assume they unclamped and that, that just gave Blue another free goal. So kind of a misplay out of out of the Red Alliance there, but it's all good. We're still recoverable match for, for, for Red technically if they can you know, get a goal flip or something like that. And as you can see, it's really smart out of, out of I think that's uh, that's 6 2 10 M where they're trying to get that... that that last uh, wall stake, that, that lion stake, right? Trying to recover a little bit of points. But there, Baker is not giving him no time, right? Charges out of the positive corner and starts playing defense. Heavy defense for almost tipping 81x, right? <laughs> almost tipping them. But but here, we almost see a, go a, a great play out of out of 2072a, right? Almost flipping that, uh, flipping that goal over. And they're going to barely miss that grab while, while that's 6210m trying to recover. And flip that goal back over, right? You can see Red here has great control over these wall stakes. But one thing we aren't seeing in this sig as much as we saw in the other other three that happened recently is just you know the walls putting the Lady Brown on the wall stake, and that's exactly what is happening right here, right? You can see them just you know making sure that there's zero space. There's no no chance that they're going to get through. So great finals one match, and with the timeout for finals two, and here with finals two, we have Blue Alliance in the lead already. Looking very good. And as auto starts, we can probably expect some things very similar to last match. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they just surprised us with uh, with an auto fail. Unfortunately for Red Alliance, looking uh, in a very dire one match down situation, they're not going to be able to clutch up the auto. In fact, their auto is going to completely whiff, giving Blue four top rings in its autonomous routine, right? As the match starts right away. Such a <laughs> quick auto to count. Baker's gonna go for that pin. Unfortunately, almost doesn't get that pin down on, on the on 6 2 10. But he's gonna play great defense on them though, completely shutting them down on that third goal. But you know, 6 2 10 kind of kind of shutting down the entire blue lines here as well, right? As as Baker's playing that, that screen, because you know he's here, right? Two two zero seven two eight can't leave because if they leave. Right, to, to get that third goal, then, then they're cooked. That positive corner is Reds, right, for the taking. And Baker also can't leave. He is also stuck here because if he leaves, then that third goal is Red for the taking as well. So amazing strategy out of, out of Red here. Char charging into the, into the, the, the far into the quadrant for the other team, right? Giving their, their teammate, 81X, plenty of time to get that goal and, you know, get some rings on it or or not because it's going to get stuck on the, <laughs> on the screw, right? They have a screw... I'm assuming they have a screw sticking out from the driving, so they have the the boxing right done from the bottom. So the screw is screwed upwards. So there's a little, little edge there on the screw, which gets the the goal stuck. But it's all good. They get it off by shaking the robot. And now, now six six two ten M is gonna get try to get control over that over that far blue goal, right? 
But, you know, Blue here actually completely just disregarding that goal. I think, you know, they're kind of, they're like, we have one of the winter conditions now, right? We're not going to really spend that much time worrying about that goal because that goal is, you know, that goal is partially filled already with Blue. So, you know, Red can't really get that many points out of that one. So now we have P P Baker now playing some, some, we're going to play some wall sticks over there, I think. No, or not. They're going to just stay back. They're gonna they're gonna play the defense while while two zero seven two a is gonna play wall six and play try to try to get into their positive corner actually interesting interesting play here not really any wall six play out of blue which is surprising because red's really taking advantage of that and just dunking those wall six up one by one and as you can see here red st st uh, stuck with that goal all the way until the end and they're gonna negative negative corner that, that goal but one thing I do. I do notice about negative corner after the rule change is that it's kind of it's kind of late now because you kind of have to go for the ne negative corner very very late because about thirty seconds right if you if you're in the corner for thirty seconds imagine how many points the opponent side can put up on those wall six right and that's exactly what happens here right they go for that negative corner kind of late and you can see that you know blue is able to put up a lot of points winning them this finals right winning them in the signature event we will see Aries and Pink Shiny Unicorns at Dallas this year. Exciting.